Hi, sweeties. I have a good one for you today. We are doing Ninja Foodie Grill versus the new Ninja Foodie Grill Smart Grill XL. It's a bit bigger. This one has a temperature probe. This one does not, although there's a version of this that has it. We'll get into all that later. But first, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, that thumbs up, and now let's get into it. Full disclosure, I received both of these Ninja Foodie Grills for free because I've, I've been working with Ninja Kitchens, but I will always give you my 100% honest opinion when I am demoing these products. Today, St. Louis style ribs. Let's season these ribs up and get to cooking. So let's see how the, this rack of rib fits inside the original Ninja Foodie. Spoiler alert, <laughs> it doesn't. You'll have to kind of curve it or cut it, and we're definitely gonna end up cutting it and sort of leaning them against each other to get them to fit, but clearly that does not fit in there. Let's see about the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. We're gonna see if it fits in that air crisp basket. And almost, it doesn't quite fit. That little tail piece kinda. So we'll still end up cutting it, and maybe laying that side up there, but we'll get it in there. We'll make it work. Let's make a little rib rub. In the bowl, we have some brown sugar and I'll put a link to the recipe in the description box. We're gonna use some of my seasoned salt blend. Put that in there. A little cinnamon, a little cayenne, depending on how hot you like it. And a little bit of ginger. A little more ginger. Just mix that up. And we'll set this to the side. Now, let's prepare our ribs. See the ribs have this membrane on them and that's tough, it won't get softened or tender while we're cooking it. So actually it's taken off of some of these ribs. You just make a little separation to start to pull it off. And you might need to grab a paper towel. This is, I promise you, it's not that hard. There we go, here we go. Now we pull off that membrane. It might take you a couple of tries if it separates, but it's worth doing. So this rack I cut down just a little bit, and this will be for the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. This I cut in half, and that will be for the original Ninja Foodie. Let's go ahead and rub those seasonings in. Brian, the brown sugar, cayenne, seasoned salt, which has black pepper in it. And that recipe is on my blog and I'll put the link to that in the description box. You wanna rub it all over. And the other side. Try not to make too much of a mess like I just did. Now for the ribs that'll go into the original Ninja Foodi. Rub that in and we're gonna let this sit at room temperature just for about 30 minutes. And then we'll preheat our grills and get to cooking. Let's preheat that Ninja Foodie Grill XL power on. And we are going to air crisp at 350 degrees. And I'm gonna set the time for, let's say 30 minutes. Let's just say 30 minutes and start. Let's do that same thing for the original Ninja Foodie Grill. We'll start it, press air crisp, turn the temperature to 350 degrees, set the time for 30 minutes. 
press start and we'll let those preheat. The Ninja Foodie Grill XL says add food. I love it when my appliances tell me what to do. So let's add the rack of ribs. Well, actually I'm gonna do it with the more meaty side down for this first time. And I'll stick these two ribs just on the back. And that fits perfectly in the air crisp basket. Let's close it down. And we'll turn those over halfway through cooking. Meet me over at the original Ninja Foodie Grill. All right, it says add food. So we're gonna do a similar thing. We're gonna, I'm gonna just kind of lean these against each other. so that they will won't be sort of on top of each other, sort of layered. We'll see how that goes. There we go. Our ribs are about halfway finished with cooking. This is the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. Let's take a look inside there. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's flip it over. Let that finish on the other side. Now, let's go check on the original Ninja Foodie. <laughs> Very nice. Happy so far with both. Now, it does look like these are more raw on the other side than the ones that were in the Ninja Foodie Grill XL, so that's interesting. I'm gonna flip this one like so. Make sure they're both get nice and uh, exposed. Hang on one second. See if I can stack them like I did before. Don't try this at home, kids, or do. It's really hot. All right, that might be too high, let's see. No, oh, it should be just fine, all right. Let's let that go a little while longer. Two, one. All right, let's take a peek inside the Ninja Foodie Smart Grill XL. That looks delicious. That looks amazing. Now you could put sauce on it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it already has that brown sugar. Hang on one second. Let me, I don't want to cut into them just yet because they should rest a bit. Let me just pick it up so you can get a better view. Look at that there. That looks good to me. I'm gonna let this rest before I test a piece. It's fully cooked. That's hot. It's not fall off the bone tender, which I think is overcooked, but that's just my humble opinion. But it is fully cooked. We'll give it a taste in a little bit. Let's go see what's happening in the original Ninja Foodie. Three, two, one. Looks good. Now remember we had to sort of lean them against each other so that they would have enough. This rack is actually a little thicker than the other one too, now that I'm looking at it. But it looks delicious. Let's let it rest. You can see now much more of the bone is exposed there, but this is a little thicker. We'll let them rest and then we'll do a taste test. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, look at this. We've got our ribs made in the original Ninja Foodie grill versus our ribs made in the new Ninja Foodie grill 
XL. Which one is the winner? I'm going to give them a taste and find out. First one from the original Ninja Foodie Grill. Let's take a bite. Mm. That's delicious. The rib is tender. It's juicy. This was a rack of St. Louis style ribs. And I have a video showing the difference between baby rack ribs, St. Louis style ribs, um, country style ribs and spare ribs. I'll put a link to that up there. And now I have ribs stuck to my teeth because of that brown sugar coating. It is very tasty. It tastes like um, ribs you get from a Chinese restaurant. You know, back in New York, I don't know if any of you guys have had New York style Chinese food. The ribs you get from those restaurants, so good and glazed. And they have a nice snap to them when you bite into it. Let's try the one from the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. So juicy. Mmm, excuse me. I mean, delicious. Let's, let's look at the juiciness. That's from the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. Look at that. Just juicy. Let me grab that other rib. Hang on right there. And this is the rib that came out of the original Ninja Foodie Grill. Juicy as well. Both did a fine job. However, I'm going to say the winner. I'm sorry. I feel like I still have rib juices on my face. The winner of Ninja Foodie Grill versus new Ninja Foodie Grill XL is going to be the new Ninja Foodie Grill XL. I was able to cook almost the full rack of ribs, just chopping a couple off the end and laying that on the side of the pan. And I was able to put that in there and not have to sort of lean it or stack it to get even cooking. With the original Ninja Foodie Grill, there wasn't really room to either stand the ribs up or lay them down flat. I didn't want to stack them because then the part that overlaps does not cook evenly with the parts that are out bare. So that's, um, that's going to be a negative on the nin original Ninja Foodie Grill. So the winner battle ribs is the new Ninja Foodie Grill XL. The great thing about both of these units is that there was no smoke in the kitchen. I cooked two racks of ribs and no smoke at all. If you want to take a look at the head-to-head -head battle, I did battle spatchcock chicken between the original Ninja Foodie Grill and the new Ninja Foodie Grill XL. I'll put a link to that up there as well. In that same battle spatchcock chicken, I also go over the measurements of both the original Ninja Foodie Grill and the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this video if you want to check out the side-by-side -side measurements. I'm going meatless for the next Ninja Foodie Grill versus Ninja Foodie Grill battle. Let's do some eggplant. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that notification bell, and have a delicious day.